Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out an update for PowerToys, which has been updated to version 0.77. And this latest release includes new features. It improves the stability, adds numerous bug fixes, which are always good. And according to Microsoft, will enhance your Windows 10 and 11 experience because PowerToys can be downloaded from Microsoft Store for both OSs. Now, just to focus on some of the release highlights. And first of all, there is a new utility called Command Not Found. And I actually posted on this just a couple of days ago. And I'll leave that video down below because it will just provide you with a lot more info if you would be interested. But basically what Command Not Found is all about, it's a PowerShell module that detects an error thrown by a command and then suggests a relevant WinGet package to install if available. And as you can see, and as I mentioned previously, you need PowerShell version 7.4, which I don't have. And uh, um, PowerShell is something I do use on a regular basis to run scripts and commands, as many of you may know who do view this channel. So if you are running version 7.4, you'll be able to use this utility, which I actually think is a nice move, because it adds the ability just to... Uh, detect failed commands in PowerShell 7.4 and then suggest a package to install using WinGet. And yeah, if, as you can see, requires PowerShell 7.4 or greater. And you just install the relevant um, packages to obviously be able to use command not found. And I think this is a nice move because it can just help with a lot of time wastage and mistakes and errors while using um, PowerShell, which sometimes does happen um, um, on a regular basis for some. Then over and above that new utility is the keyboard manager um, has received a fix and the keyboard manager um, lets you reconfigure your keyboard by re remapping keys as many of you will know and apparently it did not register low level hook if there are no remappings um, and apparently that um, bug now has been addressed and been fixed and if we head over to Peek, and Peek is a quick and easy way to preview files. So basically, they've added support for QOR file type in Peek. And just to demonstrate how Peek actually works, um, if I click on an image or a file and I use control and space on my keyboard, it opens up that um, file or image in its own preview window. And this is actually an image taken from the command not found, which I posted on just the other day, which will also give you a little bit more of a general idea. So that's, they've added support for QOR file type in Peak. Then um, they've also added support for loading third-party plugins with additional dependencies in PowerToys Run. And uh, PowerToys Run, as many of you know, um, is a quick launcher for your desktop that uh, has additional capabilities without sacrificing performance, according to Microsoft. And you can um, just launch this by using Alt and Space. And there we go, that's PowerToys Run. So support for loading third-party plugins with additional dependencies now has been added to PowerToys Run, which I think is a nice move. Then just to mention um, a couple of other little general fixes that have rolled out. They've fixed crashes related to theme changes. And I always say if a crash is fixed, um, that's always a nice move. They've fixed a typo in version change in the notification. They've updated the copyright year for this year, 2024. And they've added a setting to disable, if we head to the general section, to disable warning notifications about detecting an application running as administrator. And here we go, um, elevated app warnings and that says show notifications about power toys functionality issues when running alongside elevated applications so that's a new setting uh, which has uh, been made available now with version 0 0.77 so those are some of the key highlights and if you want to look at all the other improvements add-ons and fixes then you can just click on those release notes uh, on the uh, the actual general page the home page and there's quite a lot going on so too much to get into in this video but they have rolled out some other fixes and improvements over and above the key highlights that I've mentioned today in this video. So that's just a quick rundown of the latest release for PowerToys version 0.77 that is available for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.